haven't posted a YouTube video in over a year, but I'm feeling inspired to post another one. Wanted to share a little bit of information and do it from the YouTube venue. The situation that is happening in the Gulf of Mexico with the oil gushing into the Gulf of Mexico for many weeks now is something that has sparked me to go back and put together information about technology that I have known about for many, many years in the name of free energy and technology that has been withheld from us, has been suppressed in the name of greed and control. And like I said, I've known about this for many, many years, but I'm looking at this situation in the Gulf of Mexico as a blessing. And it's a blessing in that it's a message. The time has come for us to be in our power and use our voices and understand what has been going on and what has been suppressed from us and withheld from us for a very long time. A lot of people talk about it as conspiracy theory, but I'm going to recommend several things for you to take a look at and research for yourself because all of this information is now available to us in the information age via the internet and being able to communicate with each other like this. And I've had the opportunity to have hundreds of experts in my life for the last seven years via my radio program and have virtually been reading nonfiction most of my life. I have compiled a list of compelling information of technology that has been withheld from us for years and years, some of it going back to the early 1900s. Right now, this very minute, is our opportunity to speak up and insist that this technology that has been withheld from us be given back to us. Please educate yourself and then pass on what you learn to all you know. That's what I'm trying to do. And I have been silent for long enough, and I'm not being silent anymore. We do have the power to make sure that this never happens again. And we can do it peacefully because we are one. We must stay strong and send as much love to this as we can muster up. I will admit that it can be hard to do that from time to time. As today, for the first time after all of these weeks, I actually had tears in my eyes for the first time. However, I needed to allow myself to feel the pain so that I could then bless the pain and heal it. And also be sure to know that I have been holding this in love and light 24-7 since it all began. So right now, this is a reminder that when you are feeling sad or angry, do your best to recognize the feeling and then bring your energy back into the lighter, more loving place. Love is the strongest force in the universe. Keeping your energy in fear, rage, blame, sadness is what feeds and fuels the dark forces behind all of this. So we all need to take personal responsibility for everything that is in our reality because we're all one. And forgiveness is a key to stay in love. And non-judgment is even stronger. Judge not lest you be judged. And if you do not judge, there's nothing to forgive. So I'm asking for all of us to find your voice, speak up and out about all of this. Talk to all your friends, all your friends and neighbors that want to listen. And if they don't want to listen, don't spend your energy there. And then brainstorm with those that want to listen and want to talk about it, how we can stop this from ever happening again. Teach them about the technologies that have been withheld from the world in the name of greed and control. One of the most compelling people that I recommend you look up is Stanley Mayer. Stanley Mayer had a patent on an engine that was fueled by water, H2O, water-powered cars. Took out the hydrogen and the outpouring was oxygen. Look up his name and you'll get to know more about this invention and the mysterious way he died. 
for all the people out there saying that this is some kind of a scam, take the time to read up on the numerous personal achievements of people who have successfully created their own water-powered cars. Also, take the time to look into the companies that have successfully created water power cars. A Japanese company also was promoting a water powered car back in 2008, and all the links of that are in the list. And they disappeared also. And since I've been talking about this with many people, friends and neighbors, one of my friends and neighbors brought to my attention Dr. Paul M. Brown. Paul Brown created a power cell that uses relatively inert radioactive waste, the same stuff used to irradiate produce, to create a power cell that lasts for the half life of the material inside, 75 years. So a 400 volt, 24 amp battery that lasts 75 years and is the size of a soda can. Unlike conventional nuclear generating devices, the power cell does not rely on a nuclear reaction or chemical process and does not produce radioactive waste products. Check it out. I also suggest that you Google Dean Kamen. He has a water purifier and a power generator that runs on cow dung. His water purifier will take anything and purify the water, even poison. All of the links to follow up on this are in the information page. Dean Kamen. And then please check out Voraxial Separator. It's a technology that is already being used by the Navy and oil rigs, and they are ready to go to work now, but the authorities have not deployed them and have not contacted them. They're very frustrated that they have the equipment and technology that is able to take the oil out of the water, but it has not been used. They have a Varaxial 8000 separator processor that separates up to 100,000 barrels per day. In their possession, and this has been in operation. Check out the links for yourself, please. And those links include many videos demonstrating this. I have video links for most of the information that I'm talking about. And last but not least, by any stretch of the imagination, please check out Nikola Tesla. I have posted several links to documentary information and even a movie starring Orson Welles that was put out in 1980. In the list, there are also links of things that I have not even had the time to mention. It's a pretty extensive list. Enjoy and have fun and share with others. Thank you. I love us all from the bottom of my heart, and I'd like to invite you to join me and my host, Gary Moore, on our Blog Talk Radio show. Just Google Living in the Now Blog Talk Radio, and you will find us. This is a forum where we can work together globally. So, again, I thank you for taking time to watch this, and I thank you for taking the time to look into the information that I have provided in the description of this video and also in the more information section with lots of links to follow through on to other videos, to articles, etc., to watch and look for yourself. But continue to search for yourself, free energy. And what has been withheld from us. Once again, I'd love for you to join me and my co host, Gary Moore, on our program on Blog Talk Radio titled Living in the Now. You have the power to decide. And you can Google Living in the Now, You Have the Power to Decide, and you'll find us. We'd love to have you join us. And thank you so much for. Passing on this information to others and for your participation in co creating the world that we envision for ourselves, for our children, and our children's children, and into the future. Much blessings to you. Thank you.